What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can start streaming using an Xbox One, an Elgato HD 60X, and a MacBook M1 Pro. Alright, so first things first, this is what you're going to need. Xbox One, a MacBook M1 Pro, and the Elgato HD 60X capture card. I do have a second monitor. Now, it's not necessary, but it's going to help out a lot. So if you got one, I would recommend that. Even a small TV would work. Adapters, alright? So our adapters are going to consist of a USB C to USB we're gonna need two of those and then we're gonna need one that is a USB to USB C but it's going to have an HDMI adapter in it as well you're gonna need three HDMI cords but one of them comes with the Elgato so really you only need to find two for audio you're gonna want to use a USB mic to talk to the stream and you're gonna be using your Xbox headset to talk to your voice chat game chat party chat and for your camera you can use a USB webcam you can use a regular camera with a cam link setup like I have if you're only limited to an outlet that has two imports get an outlet extender so you can make sure your max charge xbox is on and tv is going now that you know what you need let's get into the setup and show you how everything's hooked up you're gonna want to go ahead and plug in your xbox turn that bad boy on right you've got an hdmi cord coming from the back of there to the elgato now once you've got it to the elgato you're gonna take another hdmi cord plug it in from the elgato and to the macbook your macbook m1 pro should have an hdmi import on it if it doesn't it probably is not a pro we've got our xbox hdmi to our elgato our elgato hdmi to our macbook and we also have this cord that came with the elgato it's a USB-C to USB, and we've got it plugged into this adapter right here. Um, the reason being it's in its own adapter is because it needs all the power that it can get. It doesn't need to be in a 4-in-1 adapter. If you try and plug your Elgato or your camera into a 4-in-1 adapter or a 3-in-1 or a 2-in-1 adapter, it probably won't work. I've troubleshooted, I've done trials and errors. Uh, it's like 20 bucks at Walmart to get yourself two of these adapters and then it's probably like another 20 bucks to get one of these bad boy We're gonna go ahead and look at our next adapter, which is our HDMI slash USB to USB C um, We've got that plugged in right here and what we have running into that is a USB mic so my stream can hear me and we've also got our HDMI our third HDMI cord going to our TV slash monitor that way I can game and see everything on here perfectly without any lag anything like that don't worry about it it's all there that's how we're gonna be able to see our game perfectly and also look at our MacBook and be like yo that's where the chat is this is where the game is two separate monitors it comes in clutch i recommend it you can kind of work around it by by looking at the screen and maybe minimizing the chat and streamlabs on all on your macbook if that's what you have to do You're also probably wondering what is this uh second usb plugged in i've also got a stream deck plugged in but that's not necessary you don't need it just make sure it's got a usb and a hdmi uh that's hella important now we're going to be looking at our last adapter right here, which is also USB-C to USB. We've got our webcam plugged into that right now. That could be a, a webcam that's like a Logitech like this, or that can be a webcam that's a regular camera using the uh, Elgato Cam Link 4K. That's what I've got using right now. I do want to talk about one thing. You cannot get away with plugging this USB-C to USB into your Xbox or into a power source. You have to plug it into this adapter into your Mac because it's half video data and half power. So if you try and plug this bad boy into your Xbox, it's not going to pick up. You have to have these adapters. I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you. So now everything should be plugged in, right? You're going to want to turn everything on, get everything open, turn your monitor on, monitor slash TV on, Xbox on, MacBook open, boom. If you ever have an issue where something's not being detected, I want you to unplug whatever it is and plug it back in. Assuming everything's on, plugged in, and working right, your Elgato should have a blue light. Now, if it does not have a blue light and it has a white light slash pinkish light, that means that your Xbox is probably not on, 
Okay, uh, it's not picking up any signal. It's on, it's working, but it's not picking up any signal uh, from the Xbox. So, so make sure those HDMI's are, are plugged in uh, correctly. If you have a red blinking light, that means you're not getting enough power. That means uh, you've got your Elgato plugged in to somewhere that's not, it's not getting enough power. It should definitely be in its own adapter and it's going straight into the Mac. Uh, not gonna say it again, not gonna say it again. Everything's going good, right? How the hell do I see my Xbox? Quick time player, boom, on your MacBook Pro. Um, shit come with it? I'm like 90% sure it comes with, with it. You're gonna click on quick time player. It's gonna bring this up, don't worry about it. Go to file, go to new movie recording, and boom. Look, I've got my webcam plugged in, so you're gonna be able to see this, but boom, this is the beauty of it. This little drop down arrow right here, Look, it should show that the Game Capture HD60X is plugged in. Once I do that, it's going to take me to my Xbox screen. Now with that, I can drag this over and I can full screen it. And also make sure this is muted. You don't really need to worry about the, the microphone or anything because this just is going to be muted. If your Xbox is having any uh, outage issues or or it's not picking up the Elgato or any issues with the uh, Xbox and audio, follow this. You're gonna wanna go to TV and display options. You're gonna wanna make sure your resolution is 1080p, your refresh rate is 120 hertz. You're then gonna go to uh, volume and audio output. You're gonna go to additional options. You're gonna de-check allow pass through if it's checked. Um, and you're gonna make sure that your party chat output is headset and speakers. Now, all this is very important, very key. Boom, you got a, your full screen right here. Absolutely no lag, like, like it's perfect. It runs perfect. So that that's cool. We can test that's on. That's nice. Great. We know our Elgato's working. Everything else is plugged in. We're gonna go ahead and get Streamlabs OBS desktop. If you don't have that, I would recommend it if you're just starting off streaming. It's a lot more user friendly. And uh, I'm gonna be explaining kind of how to set it up and stuff like that. So we're gonna go ahead and open that bad boy up. I already have my stream set up. Uh, I'm gonna set up a new scene uh, from scratch just like you guys would be doing. But if you want a tutorial on how I have my uh, stream set up as far as uh, like transitions and uh, overlays and and stuff like that, then I can do a separate video, but this is what it's gonna be looking like. You're like, all right, I, I, I'm in Streamlabs, I've got it, I've got it hooked up, everything's hooked up, running, what the hell? You're gonna open up uh, Sources, you're gonna go to Sources, right? And you're gonna, first things first, you, I wanna see that Elgato, you know, I wanna see my Xbox, right? Uh, we're gonna go to Video Capture Device, Add Source, uh, we're gonna t call this Elgato, right? And I'm gonna just, uh, uh, now we're gonna go to device, and it should say Game Capture HD60X. Assuming you can still see it on there, you should be able to see it right here. Boom, we're gonna hook that up. Uh, we're gonna do 1920 by 1080. Boom, fits the screen, it's perfectly like that. Also, uh, if you're having issues to where this is not fitting immediately, I would go to settings, video, and make sure your base canvas resolution is 1920 by 1080. Uh, 60 frames per second boom so we've got that hooked up right now we want to get our camera so we're gonna go ahead and go to another source another video capture device go to add source and go ahead and add a new one and uh, we're gonna go it should say now if you have like a logitech or something like like one of these bad boys it should say logitech you you plug that in but I have the uh, I have the cam link going to my regular camera so I'm gonna go ahead and press cam link 4k and I'm also gonna remember to do 1920 by 1080 for that best quality. Now, you're gonna wanna take this corner, drag it down a little, and position it to wherever you want it. Uh, me personally, I have it like right about here. Your stream is damn near set up, except you're gonna want that mic too. So you're gonna go to audio input capture, uh, and add source, add new source instead, and you're gonna add mic. Add source, and your device needs to be Rode 
or, or whatever USB mic you're using. I have the Rode NT USB, so I'm gonna click that and uh, make sure monitoring is off so I don't hear my voice. But there's one more thing. You're gonna wanna do another audio input capture, add source, add new source, and we're gonna call this El Gaudio because even though it's seeing the screen, it's not picking up that audio just quite yet. We're gonna go to El Gaudio, we're gonna go to Game Capture HD 60X, and then boom, Xbox video, we've got our camera, we've got our mic audio, and we've got our Xbox audio. So those are the four things, four necessity things that you're gonna need in your sources. Um, if your mic is a little quiet and you want to turn it up, it's not quite picking up as loud as you want. Here's a little tip, go to filters, edit filters, add filter gain add it boom turn that bad boy up and the more you turn it up i have mine set to about 11. uh it's going to be able to pick up your voice a lot easier um i that's just a little quick tip that i'm gonna throw in there all right my stream can hear me but how are my friends gonna hear me we're gonna go straight over to this xbox remote plug our wired headset in and boom We've got audio coming straight from the Xbox to the headphones, and all of my friends online, party chat, game chat, they're gonna hear me through this. And this is a very big question. This is the main re main question I had. Are they gonna be able to hear voice chat, game chat, uh, party chat, whatever the f are, are the, is the stream gonna hear? Is it gonna pick it up? Yes, it's gonna pick up everything. Assuming you followed all these steps, it's gonna pick up every single audio boom everything's hooked up ready to go i can start streaming now um i also have a ring light and a phone holder so i can i can see my stream if it's lagging uh and i can you know have a nice bright light and that is how you start streaming using an xbox one an elgato hd 60x and a macbook m1 pro um a lot of people are going to tell you uh, just get a gaming PC, just get a gaming PC. Yeah, yeah, it might be easier for gaming, but I also do a lot of uh, videos, uh, video editing and stuff, and I've always been a Mac user, and I've wanted a way uh, to, to, to be able to stream and do this all at once, because I know it's possible. With this M1, it is possible. Now, with a MacBook, with the older MacBook, a 2020, or uh, the, the, you know, the i7s and stuff, I don't know if those are, that's, I don't, I don't know if they can keep up, you know what I mean? I have one right here, it can't keep up. So I, I got a new Mac uh, and it, it, everything works good. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this is a brand new channel. Uh, I'm gonna be doing live streams every Monday and Thursday from three to 6 p.m. Um, YouTube videos coming every week. But if this video helped you guys at all, please leave a like, subscribe. Let me know if there's anything else if you want to see a video where I talk about transitions on Streamlab and uh, setting up overlays and stuff, I'd be happy to do that. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. I uh, hope you guys start streaming soon. hope this was exactly what you needed. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing all my fellow Mac friends uh, starting, starting up streams. You know what I mean? Because we can do it, you know? Thank you guys for watching Kill Cam TV. I am your host. Cade McCallie, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.